Arise, arms are wide enough to hold us both together, although we're worlds apart. I cross the stars for you. Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. Um, and right now, what I want to talk about is uh, The Arms of Orion, which was the third single to be released off Prince's 11th studio album, Batman. Well, the Batman soundtrack. All right, um, this song, I love it. It's a duet with uh, Sheena Easton. You know, I love it. I totally love it. Um, it was released October 16th, 1989. Um, B-side was I Love You and Me, which will later be released on the B-side for Insatiable, I believe. So, you know. And for those that hear the smoke detector in the background, no, I haven't changed the battery yet. So, I will get to that. Okay? But anyway, um, the CD singles that was pressed for this, I believe, was the little small three-inch CDs. Um, I have one in there somewhere, but too much work. What I do have, and I'll show y'all, is the actual 45 for this album, or this record, this single. There's the front, and there's the back. The man in the iron on there. Um, we're going to take it out so we can see the vinyl. There's the vinyl. Can y'all see that? Where's the vinyl tripping? I love you and me. Is the B side. And there it is. Alright, now, the arms of Orion. Um, when I talk about this song to certain Prince fans, or Prince fans in general, I ain't gonna say certain Prince fans, but Prince fans in general. A lot of them are split down the middle on this track. Some like it, some don't. Um, to me, is is really a traditional love ballad. You know what I mean? Um, vocally, I feel like Princess Sheila e Sheena Easton are on point. Um, and, and the lyrics in general, I think, are very deep, especially when he says. Uh, since you've been gone, I've been searching for a lover in the sea of tranquility, right? And wow, that just brought up, made me think of something back in the day. You know, the sea of tranquility is like, supposed to be like the moon. The moon only faces one side to us. The other side is dark. So, um, this was years ago. I was at work and we were standing outside, and there was a guy I work with. I don't know the reason why I say this because we're talking about the moon, right? I know it's it's kind of weird, but just follow me. So there was a full moon out, and you could kind of see like when it's a real good full moon, you kind of see like the tracings of the moon or whatever. But so we sitting there. I'm sitting there with this guy I'm working with. He says. <laughs> Yo, I said, what? He said, yo, remember back in the day when they said the earth was flat? I said, yeah. He said, how come they couldn't just look at the moon and know it was round? And it was like a revelation, like, wow, like that do kind of make sense in some weird way, but that has nothing to do with the song. I just thought of it when I thought of the Sea of Tranquility. So that has nothing to do with it. Anyway, this song is the bomb shiggity. Also, the CD single contained an unannounced.cdi.file, dot dot which played a slideshow of unrelated pictures and poems with the arms of Orion as a soundtrack in a, into a computer. Now, I think they was just testing this and experimenting or whatever, but for that to be done like that was like hot technology then. But uh, 
all in all, I think this is a great song. Um, it's one I play often. You know what I mean? Um, it actually reached um, on the Billboard Hot 100. October 12, 1989, it peaked at number 36. It was on the charts for 14 weeks. Um, on the USA Billboard Adult Contemporary, uh, October 28, 1999, it peaked at 21 and was on the chart, that chart for 13 weeks. It made a few charts somewhere else, but the highest I ever seen the position was in Ireland. It looked like um, November 9th, 1989. It peaked at number five and was on the week, on the charts for three weeks. So, you know, th this is one of my personal favorite songs. And then you got I Love You and Me on the, the back side, the B side. You know what I mean? And that's just like a double whammy. You know what I'm saying? The two great slow jams, you know what I mean, that you can groove to, you know. So what y'all think about the Arms of Orion, people? You know, like I said, a lot of people I know is split down the middle. They either like it or they don't like it. You know what I mean? Me, I like it. I love it. I think it's a great track. What y'all think? It's your boy P. Ross. And I'm out.